Let's uh, move on now to our special segment, Charting Trends. Mitesh Thakkar is joining in to discuss which way the market is headed, his top stock ideas as well. Uh, Mitesh, just give us an overall, uh, you know, um, sort of synopsis of how things could progress from here. This has largely been a, a sell-on rally market in the last, say, fortnight or so. Do you think that is a trend that can continue? Yeah, so, uh, good morning, Sonia. My sense is that in the bigger picture, this looks like a, you know, in case it pans out negatively and we break below 19200, this will still be a correction. The long-term charts are very firm, but I think with the rally which we saw from uh, March of 23, lows were around 16,800, and then we made a high of around uh, 20,222, I think this entire movement might pan out as a corrective movement. Uh, in case we hold 19200, it will be more of a time-wise correction, and uh, we will see, you know, a good... Uh, few weeks now being spent into a 19200, 2200 kind of a range. In case we break 19200, then I think it will be some way, uh, it will do some price wise damage as well. But broadly, I still don't expect the markets to break below the 200 average on a long term chart basis, which is closer to now 18,600. So I think that should be the worst case scenario in the next few months. Given that fact, I think once this correction or this, uh, you know, time wise sideways activity is over, and then I, th I think we should resume uh, another uptrend and we should make fresh highs. So overall very positive, but the next couple of weeks, uh, maybe to, to a certain extent, two to two and a half months, could be slightly challenging. Okay, all right. Uh, Mitesh, what about a couple of stocks? Bajaj Finance as well as Balrampur Chini. Balrampur Chini was strong even in a weak market. How are you plotting both of them on the chart? So both of them look very interesting to me, Nigel. Uh, you know, Bajaj Finance, I think the key fact here uh, is that uh, we saw the stock uh, or, you know, break above that uh, uh, line which was joining all the weekly tops starting from 2021 uh, October. So if you actually uh, were to, you know, look at that chart, uh, there are about five or six weekly highs on that trend line. And uh, with yesterday's movement, and while we are in the middle of the week right now, my sense is that the way the momentum indicators are positioned, we'll have a breakout above this level of 7600, 7650. So, uh, assuming that, I think this breakout should uh, yield uh, some kind of upside target, which would be in the range of about 8,500 to begin with. And extensions of those targets could be around 8,800, or in the best case scenario, even 9,000. So, very, very positive over here. I would recommend accumulating the stock at current levels slowly. In case you get a pullback to 7,650, best levels to enter, you can add, uh, enter aggressively over there. And uh, keep a stop loss below about 7,440. And the targets, as I said, would be 8,500, 8,800, or even 9,000. Coming to Balrampur Chini, I think that that sugar space looks in a very sweet spot. Uh, I have picked up a Balrampur Chini. Uh, what it did was gave a breakout a couple of weeks back. Last week was a pullback. And yesterday, restarted the movement on the outside. I am looking at a target of around 500 to 520, which is uh, roughly about 20% upside from current levels. And the, the stock now uh, is very unlikely to break below 410. So traders can uh, start buying now, add more declines to about levels of 425, 420, keep a stop below 410, and there are higher chances of the stock heading towards 500 to about 520 levels in the next uh, two to three months. All right. Uh, some more uh, stock ideas that you have. How are the other charts looking, if you can take us through them? So I have two more ideas on the buying side and one on the selling side. Dwarakesh, again, another sugar stock. Uh, disclaimer, it's a part of my portfolio as well. Uh, is on the, on the verge of breaking out. There has been a breakout which we have observed on the uh, indicator charts. The price action should follow. So this I would recommend uh, accumulating uh, with a stop below 97. The CMB is around 105, 106. And I'm looking at a near-term target of 120, 125, which is a few weeks, and a positional target of around 140, which is about three to four months from here. So it gives you a reasonable receiver equation. Then I have a buy on India real estate. And, you know, after a long time, this stock has come on the uh, charts when the medium to longer term charts are now showing positive traction. So this is a buy with a, uh, with a stop below 72. The idea to uh, uh, buy this stock should be to buy now and add more around the levels of 80 to about 78. And this, uh, this the long term signal, which are now pointing on the upside, gives you targets of roughly around 108 to begin with. Even 120 is a good possibility. And one sell call or one exit call rather, is uh, on HUL. So if you look at the uh, monthly charts of HUL, in the last one and a half, two years, we have seen multiple, uh, you know, monthly closing highs around the levels of 2700. And now the momentum indicators have given a breakdown, which means that price should also go through some kind of a correction. One. Secondly, it will be a big underperformance in the near future. So in that sense, it should be an exit. While I'm not looking at a very big decline price-wise, 
but it will not participate on the upside and therefore uh, you know do nothing good for the portfolio for the next uh, 12 to 15 months i'm looking at a target of around 2400 which is not very far away from here but uh, in an logical scenario 2200 is uh, what i expect this stock to hit okay all right uh, thanks a lot amitesh for joining in and explaining the charts to us let's